Good morning, guys. We are back from vacation. It's a whole new year. It's 2018. I'm starting this year off right. It's my goal in 2018 to do yoga every morning. I have switched up my workout routine a little bit. I was just I was just feeling really stiff and really unflexible. So I decided to chill out on the gym a little bit and really do a lot more yoga. I definitely need to go to the gym for legs. I always squat and do deadlifts in the gym, so definitely still gonna do that, but really just gonna try to get flexible. I'm on my third morning in a row, so keeping it up, keeping it going. So if you don't see yoga on the vlog, you better call me out. Anyway, I have something kinda new I wanna do for the vlog, but you guys are gonna have to wait because I wanna show you that after I do yoga. Like I said earlier, I just wanted to do a new format for the vlog. So what I want to start doing is talking about current events. So every morning over breakfast, I look at the news, I read Yahoo News, I read The Verge to just catch up on things that are happening. I don't have cable TV, so I don't watch the news. So I'm not really too concerned with the news. Most of it is all negative anyway, and I don't really care. But I still like to know what's going on in the world, so I just catch up through like a half hour of reading the news in the morning over breakfast. So first I'll talk about YouTube stuff. So everybody knows that Logan Paul's been in the news a lot lately. I, uh, I'm not a fan of Logan Paul, I never really watched his vlogs. I'm not a fan of, of vloggers that do things like this. What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. It's the channel. It's the day. Let's have a day. Woo, woo, yeah. Uh, I, I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to get y'all riled up. Okay, go later, go later, go later. But yeah, I'm really not into vloggers that do that sort of vlog style and they're super crazy with the camera and they try to hype everybody all up. It's like, chill out, man. <laughs> I did see he got taken off the Google Partner Program, which is awesome because I didn't even know there was a Google Partner Program, so now I know about it. Um, I highly doubt I'll ever be in the Google Partner Program or Sins TV will ever be in the Google Partner Program. Um, mainly just because of who we are and what we do outside of YouTube, which sometimes I guess trickles into YouTube a little bit. One other YouTuber I really like, I don't know if I ever mentioned him before, but Adrian Bliss, he does some really funny kind of parodies about vlogging. And he just came out with a bunch of new ones for uh, the new year. So you should check his channel out, Adrian Bliss. He's really funny. But let's talk about my channel, Sins TV. So Sins TV is up to over 260,000 subscribers, which is really awesome. I've been putting out the Costa Rica vlogs. We were in Costa Rica over the new year. And I've been putting those vlogs out. I'm pretty much done with the Costa Rica vlogs and the Costa Rica footage. I might have one more vlog I'll put out from there. But we're back in Vegas and I wanna start doing kind of a more daily vlog style again. I know I always say that, but I really want to do it. But I really wanna start the daily, <laughs> the daily vlog. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's talk about Trump. I see he paid off a porn star to keep quiet. Who did he pay off? Um, Stormy Daniels, who I never worked with. She was kind of before my time. She was still in, I think, at the, at the beginning of my career. But I've never worked with Stormy Daniels. It's no coincidence, a lot of porn stars are, of course, hookers too. So a lot of celebrities, millionaires, billionaires, athletes, they'll hire the porn stars because they're pretty high profile. You know, these guys see them on Instagram and Twitter and, and see them at, you know, golf tournaments, things like that. And they're there for one reason, like those girls aren't there to get $100 to be in the golf tournament. They're there to hook. They're there to get the millionaires and make money on the side. They're not there for the golf tournament. You gotta be kidding me. So it's no surprise that Trump, you know, took advantage of this and he says he didn't have sex with her or pay her for sex. And she claims she didn't have sex with him or get paid for sex with him but we'll see how that works out now that it's out in the open. Really, she only took, uh, what was it, $130,000 for the payoff for her to be quiet? $130,000 from Donald Trump? That's like nothing. 
You know, that's crazy. I would think more like, you know, a million dollars maybe, but maybe he had to pay off a lot of people and couldn't pay that much to one person. So we'll see how that works out. Another th funny thing I saw was this lady returned her Christmas tree to Costco after Christmas, once it was already dead, Costco has this return policy, I guess. Well, they will return anything, no matter what. So the lady dragged her dead Christmas tree into Costco, returned it, and they gave her her money back, which is crazy. I don't know if that's gonna start a new trend for next year. Everybody's just gonna buy their tree from Costco and return it. I don't know about you guys, but we paid like $200 for our tree this year. and I thought that was really expensive, and I would actually love to return it and get the money back. Also this morning in Hawaii, the ballistic missile alarm went off. The whole state of Hawaii thought they were getting bombed by North Korea, which is crazy. We used to live in Hawaii just six months ago we were there. And if this would have happened, I would have been freaking out as I'm sure everyone was there. We have a, we have a buddy that's there right now and I was talking to him and he was like, everything basically stopped for 30 minutes. Like people really didn't know what to do until they came back and said, well, it was a mistake, you know, the guy hit the wrong button or hit the button he shouldn't have and sent this message out, <laughs> which is pretty funny. And Hawaii is a really cool and funny state because whatever happens over there, they're like, ah, whatever. You know, anybody that runs businesses or has spent time in Hawaii, it's like, well, I am not open today. Eh, what are you going to do? Come back tomorrow. Or, Eh, you know, I'm just going to go surfing today. I'm not going to go to work. Or, eh, we hit a button that says we're going to get blown up. Eh, no big deal. Everybody will be fine. Let's go surfing. So, Hawaii's really chill like that. So, I'm sure this will blow over in Hawaii, no problem. All right, enough about the news. What's going on in my life? Well, it's the weekend. I got the weekend off, and I work all next week. I have a scene here in Vegas, and then I go to L.A. Kiss is in LA right now, so I'll go to meet up with her. And then the week after that is the AVN Awards and the AVN Convention, which is gonna be really fun. If you're in Vegas, make sure you check it out. And um, that's about it, just doing our thing. Well, for today, I just have really errands and my Jeep Wrangler. You guys saw the Jeep Wrangler on actually the very first vlog and actually got it worked on, got uh, a new lift and new tires put on it. So I got a new top I gotta put on, I got some fog lights I'm gonna put on, so I'm probably gonna do that today. I gotta clean this house, there's still uh, Christmas tree needles all over the place. So I gotta clean up a little bit and I already did yoga and I don't know, we'll see what happens today. Are you guys ready to do this? Let's do it! Breakfast time. Good thing, I have a new battery. It works. Trying to look cool. Alright, I just ripped the soft off off the Jeep. It was old and worn out anyway. Filthy up here though. Alright, it's getting kind of late, so I gotta stop the Jeep project for today. But I'm gonna come back and work on it tomorrow. Uh, it's almost dark out, so I'm gonna head up, get the dogs outside, and chill out for the night, I think.
No joke. If you guys need stickers, stickermule.com is the greatest place ever for stickers. They custom design everything and they're really easy to work with. And I think Kissa ordered these like two days ago and they're already here. So stickermule.com if you need stickers, really awesome. Let's see what else we got. I have no idea what this is. Brushless DC pump. Definitely says it's to me. Ooh. We got some new fish nets. These are just photo document mailers. When you order an 8x10 from Customize, we put it in these. Ah, that's it. Nothing very exciting. Except the stickers. You don't like the slide? What's up? You don't like the slide? You don't like it? Go lay down. Go lay down. Luna, go lay down. It's dinner time. Before when I showed you my meals, I had always ordered them and they came pre-packaged. But lately what I've been doing is going to Whole Foods and getting cold food off the salad bar. So in here is, there's chicken breast, there's edamame, there's like a quinoa blend, quinoa and some vegetables in it. Um, mushrooms, shredded carrots, shredded broccoli, um, almonds in there I see and I think that's about it. I started doing this because it's a lot healthier than the prepared meals were and there just wasn't enough vegetables in the prepared meals. So I started doing this and it actually turns out to be a little bit cheaper. I'll usually get food, I'll fill this thing up and it lasts me about three meals and it'll cost about 25 bucks for three meals which is pretty good, less than 10 bucks a meal. So this is what I've been doing and it's been really awesome. It's worked really well for me. I'm actually currently using the GH4 camera. I've had this camera for a couple years. I know the GH5 is out now, but this is kind of our backup camera. I actually really like it. I think it looks great. And I love the slow-mo feature about it. I always want to do more slow-mo stuff. <laughs> today except that last shot but I really like this camera the only problem is I don't have a wide-angle lens for it but those are like a thousand bucks and I really don't want to buy one this is the GH4 I'm using I use the Rode mic setup on it I don't know I have a couple different mics um, this isn't my preferred mic mainly because whenever I move it it shakes around and makes a lot of noise um, but yeah I've been liking this camera been looking good. People always ask what, what gear we use, what cameras, and um, the GH4, I use this as a backup camera. We have the Canon 80D. We specifically got the Canon 80D because it shoots 60 frames per second. Um, same with the GH4. We actually originally bought the Canon 60D and didn't realize it didn't shoot 60 frames per second. And we really like the 60 frame per second look. Um, as opposed to the 30 frames per second. 60 frames per second just gives it more of a, like a real life feel, you know? The movements are more fluid as opposed to 30 frames per second. Whoa. All right, almost time to eat. I'm gonna eat some dinner, edit a couple vlogs, edit this vlog. I don't know if I'll shoot anything else today. If not, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like this vlog and I'll see you guys tomorrow.